Hi there guys, what's up? So for today, um, I thought I would do an acne cover makeup tutorial because as you can see, um, my face is kind of broken out right now. Um, it's probably due to stress and hormones. Um, I'm just going through a lot right now with school. So this is probably why my face is looking like this because I have such a like set routine that I follow all the time. Um, it's just sometimes, you know, you look at a breakout all over the place if you're not careful enough. So for this video, I will be showing how I cover up my acne. I'm um, just using some products that anyone can have in their own uh, collections. All right, so let's get started. Um, first, I go in with a primer. This one I'm gonna be using the, it's like a Becca primer, the backlight one. Um, I like to use one that's more dewy instead of more matte because I feel like when it comes to acne or if you're trying to be too matte, it shows up um, like a lot and then you get stuck with this sort of like almost matte, almost scabby looking face. Um, and this way uh, the primer is more like dewy, it has more of like a glossy finish, like a, like more like a highlighter kind of finish. So it's gonna make all your, all the little bumps and imperfections on your face more, not more noticeable, but just less flaky, which I noticed that can happen with like matte primers. That's what I think I used to mess up with a lot. Okay, so when I'm sets on my face, I usually let that dry for a minute. Um, Cause I don't want to go in right away with the other products I'm gonna be using. Um, and for this part, I usually go in and just do my eyes cause I'm gonna be doing them anyway. For this, I just take a little bit of this primer. It's from Essence. It's like really cheap. This is like a $2 something primer. I just like how like kind of dark and peachy it is. I feel like it covers up my veins really well, so that's another good coverage product. And you want to make sure you really blend it out or else it looks bad. And then usually I'll take it in under my under eye as well, just because it has like that peachiness that's good for correcting like kind of purpley tones. I definitely get it underneath my eyes. And for all of this, like for the primers, I like to um, use my finger just to blend them out. I don't use any brushes with primers. I feel like my finger is easier. And now I didn't do this right at the beginning because I feel like it doesn't help for right at the beginning. But once you have your primer on on your face, um, it's good to make your primer set I feel so I like to use like a setting spray um, like in multiple points throughout when I'm doing my makeup especially if you want like longevity um, I'm in Arizona so it's really high heat here so I love using something like this like this that'll keep stuff on my face longer so I just shake it up a little bit before giving it a good spray this one is good it's a hard candy one this one smells like coconut so if you're into coconut you like that one Next, I'm going to be going in with some like foundation. For this, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Um, I have a couple other foundations I could use, but I feel like this one would be the most lightweight because I don't want it. You don't want to like totally cake the parts in your face that have um, like acne, just because you can go in with concealing, and that I feel like is what really covers it, and not you shouldn't just rely rely on like a full coverage foundation. This one's more like a medium coverage. That's what it looks like. And the shade Fair. Some wet as hell. And for application, I'm just using this uh, like makeup sponge that I wet. Um, people like to buy beauty blenders and all that stuff, but these sponges are like still a dollar at any drugstore, and they work just as well, in my opinion. Now you probably already noticed my brows are already done. I didn't want to make this like a brow tutorial because I'm not really good at doing my brows, I don't think. I just go for something that makes you at least be able to see my eyebrows instead of just being like 
little blonde strips on my face. You can see, it's not like this is a super coverage, like I said, like this really is more like a medium coverage. You can see it's like helping to make some of the pinkness go away, but like the major spots with the actual breakouts are still shining through, which is what we're going to cover up with concealer. This just basically gives you a nice base to work on. A foundation, if you will. I usually just use like two pumps of foundation anyway. Because uh, I don't like the cake on my face. My face is kind of sensitive, so it doesn't like a lot of foundation on. So next we're going to be going in with some concealer. This is Tarte Shape Tape. It's in Fair. Yep, Fair, just like my foundation. Um, this is really nice and light. It's really super full coverage. This is what you want. You want like a full coverage concealer. Um, this is really good. It's kind of on the pricey side. But if you have like points at Ulta, um, they work on this. So you could use your points on Ulta for one of these. Um, also, there's usually like... Sales going. I know the sale just happened for uh, Ulta, but if you just keep an eye out, there's usually discount coupons you can get like every month when they put on a new like um, newsletter, so you can get like usually like three dollars and fifty cents off of those. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with this. This is super full coverage, so you'll see once I start putting it on. Like, look at that. What is hell? And I don't even like really like to highlight my face with concealer just because I'm not going for a super sculpted look right now. So just doing this will help balance out the face. All right, right before you finish, you just wanna make sure you're putting some powder on. I have this NYX uh, Stay Matte But Not Flat powder. It's well loved. So you can see it's got a real nice you call pan going on in there. For this, I just like to put it all over just because it's like a really nice matte powder that doesn't give you a lot of shine or anything like that. And this this way, the with the powder being matte um, and like the foundation I put on being like more creamy, like it looks, I mean, I feel like it looks nice. It doesn't have that too dry look because even though I'm very oily, I can, I can look dry if I cake stuff on. Alright, and one last spritz. Alright, and now, let me take a look at this. Oh yeah, you gotta fan that off. Make sure whenever you put some setting spray on, you always fan that out afterwards, because you don't want to have little droplets on your face. But I really like the way this turned out. My face looks nice and radiant, even though I have tons of acne. It's not so noticeable. As you can see, my application is flawless. There's not that much acne showing through. You can still see some bumps, but the redness is really gone, and that's all that really matters to me. I feel like this is so good. Like, wow, I looked like ugly as hell before, but now you see I've got this great base down so that I can create anything else on top of this. Still look good, and not have to be bothered by the fact that I look like a total pizza face underneath this foundation. But thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. I don't care if you subscribe or if you like, but just I want you to leave some comments for me. I know a lot of people um, ask for likes and subscriptions, but I mean, that's nice. But if you leave a comment, that shows me that you really watched the video, and I, that's what really matters to me. But um, yeah, thank you guys for leaving comments on my last video. Um, I have a couple more, I've been just waiting to upload, so by the time this one is out, there should be more videos on my channel. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.